Family and friends, I always want to come your way. You know, Paints West Kitchen, we always want to be posting, but today we have started. We want to promise you an exciting one. We want to make Tom Brown, the ever favorite Tom Brown. Now, you know, we have our measures. This is per international standard. This is one cup. So these are grains. This is soya bean. This that we have here is the wheat, and this is rice. Now, let's see, our bowl is empty. We want to measure the quantities as we go to the mill. So, right now, this is what we have. They've all been roasted, and it took me close to 45 minutes as I was roasting them. So now, I want you to see the various measurements as I head on to the mill. I've washed my hands. It's very clean. So this is one cup of the soya. So we have two cups in here. Then the leftover, let's see whether it will amount to one cup. Now, kind of two cups, three quarters. So we got two cups, three quarters as we are going. Now, you see the remainder. Now for you to get a very, very flavored, delicious and smooth Tom Brown. Don't forget your salt. This is salt. I added it whilst I was roasting it. So let's see this one. Of the wheat, we have... I have to make it level because this one was level one. How many do we have now? Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Five, six, 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 seven. seven, then I suppose this is C, this is one third, I suppose that this one will reach one third, so we have seven cups here of the wheat, oh exactly, so seven cups and one third of a cup. Now let's note with the soya bean we got two three quarters. This one is seven one third. So let's go for the rice. You know these are internationally recognized measures. But as usual, so the rice. Brim one, two, two, three, four, five. Can you guess what is left? Okay. So this is half of this one cup. See, this is one cup. This is half a cup. So definitely, that's the combination we are sending to the meal. How much? How many is this? The rice is how many? what I'm sending to the mail the quantity mm -hmm. okay so we head on to the mail I'll have it covered and when we get to the mail 
we are going to our local mill area. So please follow me. Come along. So right now, this is what we have. You can see the soya bean and the wheat under, then the rice coming up according to how we measured them. Now that's the lid. We have it closed. Off to the mill. And try it yourself. Don't forget. In fact, this one is so sweet. Especially when you prepare it a bit hot with milk. Mmm, yummy. Ooh, I just arrived at the mill area. Now coming to grind my. Mmm. Oh. That's for some of these meals needs urgent attention. Mm. Give us your impression. So they are coming to set up the meal. See the strength that they need. Ooh, manpower. This goes without saying that any time you go to the mill, you need to do an extra job of trying to remove whatever is trapped in the inside of the mill, or else you just lose. In fact, when unscrewed, you realize what was even trapped in there was about a third of what was being milled. So please. Any time, ensure that you take it out. This is me at the military area.
Hello, my family. So I told you I'm going to the mill. You can see the quantity is just exactly. I think it's even more than what we sent to the mill. So please don't forget to do some yourself, right? And you know why I couldn't blend in myself for about three consecutive times that I tried milling these kind of grains with my own blender. My blenders get spoiled, so now I've decided to patronize the commercial ones. Thank you for watching. Keep subscribing, share, like, and comment. Give us your impression of the cornmeal. I know, right? Wow. Bye.